Okay, now I think the screen is visible to all of you. Yes, sir. The screen is visible to all of you. Yes, sir. So today we'll uh, start with acceleration of uh, slider crank mechanism. So before that, I'll solve one problem of uh, how to find out acceleration of a four bar chain. <clears throat> okay. Uh, it is very important okay so you thorough, thoroughly practice it okay now this is a question given you please note it down pqrs is a four bar chain with link ps fixed the length of all uh, the length of links are pq is given 62.5 mm qr is 175 mm rs 112.5 mm ps is given 200 mm the crank PQ rotates at uh, uh, 10 radian per second clockwise direction. Draw the velocity and acceleration diagram when QPS angle is given 60 degree and find the angular velocity and angular acceleration of links QR and RS. Now the arrangement is basically like this. If you draw uh, we have a four-bar chain. Uh, this PS link is fixed. Okay, here you can see it is fixed. And then we have this PQ. Then RS. Let me erase this part and redraw. So this is PQ. <coughs> R S. Okay. So now uh, this <clears throat> angle is given 60 degree. This is the angular velocity omega is given 10 radian per second. So velocity of Q with respect to P will be normal to PQ. Okay. So it is b q okay or you can write uh, capital, uh, capital q also so this is the question <clears throat> now what are the given data note down the given data <sighs> p q is given PQ is given 62.5, 62.5 mm, that is 0.0625 meter. Always mention this length in meter. Huh? Then QR is given um, how much? 175 mm, 175 mm. So, 0.175 meter <coughs> QR. Then RS is given. RS is 112.5 mm. So, 0 0.1125 meter. So, you have to basically find out angular velocity and angular acceleration. So, Omega QR, you have to find out. Omega RS, you have to find out. Then Alpha QR, you have to find out angular acceleration. And Alpha RS, you have to find out. These four things we need to find using graphical method. Now, <coughs> Before proceeding to the graphical method, let's see what data we can obtain using the analytical method. We have um, omega qp is given to us that is 10 radian per second. So <clears throat> velocity of q with respect to p which is also equal to vq is 
omega qp multiply with the length pq okay so it is 10 multiply with 0 0.0625 0 0.0625 so it is 0 0.625 meter per second so you got this okay <clears throat> now first step is to draw the velocity diagram velocity diagram how to draw <coughs> So, first is step one take point, take point P and S, P and S as one point, as one point. <coughs> as ps is a fixed link is a fixed link from point p from point p draw a vector draw a vector in pq Draw a vector PQ parallel to <coughs> BQP to some scale means we'll take a point here <coughs> which is equal to PS from that point you draw a vector. Uh, your B Q or B Q P because the magnitude we know it is 0 0.625 and it should be parallel to uh, uh, your B Q. So you will get this point Q. Okay. Now next step is from point Q, from point Q, draw a vector <coughs> representing representing V R Q, okay, which is perpendicular to QR okay so <coughs> you draw a vector like this which is perpendicular to QR uh, its end point we don't know yet you just draw a line perpendicular to QR <coughs> and from point S and from point S draw a vector draw a vector um, <coughs> RS you can write capital RS or small RS um, which is perpendicular to capital RS link okay so let me extend this point just a second let's say point PS is somewhere here okay now from this point S I'll draw a line or vector which is perpendicular to RS and this is my V R S or simply R you can write 
so both these vectors will intersect at point r okay so now you measure this distance sr you'll find vr and this distance qr so you'll find vrq this is vrs okay so third step is major major b r q which is equal to vector which is equal to vector q r that is you'll find it is equal to 0.333 meter per second you please check yourself huh, how much you are getting then measure vrs which is uh, vector rs okay mm, it is coming around 0 0.426 meter per second okay. so you will get these values from velocity diagram okay from velocity diagram now next step will be to draw the acceleration diagram okay so acceleration diagram acceleration diagram how to proceed <coughs> remember this is very important so in the first step of uh, drawing acceleration diagram you find out all the uh, radial component uh, analytically so the radial component radial component of acceleration Q with respect to P which will be equal to A radial Q P that is denoted by A Q also which is equal to B square Q P divided by the length pq okay so b uh, qp you have obtained which is 0.625 so 0 0.625 square divided by the distance was 0 0.0625 so it will be um, 6.25 meter per second square this you got we'll find out all the radial component first then a radial <coughs> component of acceleration component of acceleration of r with respect to q so it will be denoted by a r r q okay. so which is equal to b square r q by q r so we got this as 0.333 meter per second square divided by the length of q r given to us as 0.175 I think 0 0.175 so it will be 0 0.634 meter per second square okay then third one is the radial component 
of acceleration component of acceleration of point r with respect to s okay <coughs> and it will be equal to a radial of r s so which is b square r s divided by s r so um, 0 0.426 this we have already obtained from the velocity diagram divided by the length we know it is 0 0.1125 okay so it will be equal to 1.613 meter per second square okay so we got all the radial component next we will draw the acceleration diagram how to draw so first step as p and s are fixed fixed points therefore therefore take a single point take a single point mm. here you will choose p dash s dash okay in velocity diagram we took p s here p dash s dash on acceleration diagram on acceleration diagram and draw a vector draw a vector p dash q dash parallel to pq parallel to pq to some suitable scale to some suitable scale suitable scale this represents this represents the radial component of acceleration radial component of acceleration of q of one q with respect to p okay that is a radial q p okay or in short a radial q i am not drawing this uh, now first i am writing all the steps then i will draw finally <coughs> or let me draw simultaneously so uh, i choose a point here okay which is p dash s dash then i draw <coughs> a vector which is parallel to pq which is parallel to pq to represent a q so this will be my q dash point clear first step yes, yes. then second step from q dash from q dash <coughs> draw a vector draw a vector uh, q dash x q dash x which is parallel to q r parallel to q r to represent to represent 
the radial component of acceleration radial component of acceleration of r of point r with respect to q that is your a radial r q okay such that such that your q dash x is equal to a radial r q which is equal to we have already obtained 0 0.634 meter per second square so <coughs> from uh, point q dash we will draw q dash x uh, which is parallel to q r right so let me change the color here to red so we will draw this dotted line okay so this will be our <coughs> q dash x and this represent your a radial <coughs> a radial r q now next step from point x from point x draw x r dash okay um, which is perpendicular to q r to represent to represent the tangential tangential component component of acceleration of r with respect to q whose magnitude is not known we don't know the magnitude yet whose magnitude is not known we'll measure this from the graph means from the diagram itself so i'll draw a line your x r dash okay perpendicular to q r so i will draw it here let us say it is r dash and this component is a tangential r q okay. <coughs> now next step fourth fourth step is from point s dash from point s dash draw s dash y parallel to parallel to sr okay to represent to represent the radial component component of acceleration component of acceleration of r with respect to s okay that is a radial r s <coughs> such that such that your s dash y will be equal to 
a radial rs which is 1.613 meter per second square we have already obtained this <coughs> so now we'll go to point s dash and we'll draw a line which is parallel to sr so here from here i'll draw a line parallel to sr up to point uh, y such that this component will be a radial rs okay now fifth step from point from point y draw a vector draw a vector uh, perpendicular to sr sr representing representing the tangential comp component tangential component <coughs> of acceleration of acceleration of r with respect to s that is a tangential rs okay, whose magnitude we don't know whose magnitude is unknown is unknown so We'll draw it. So from here, we'll draw a vector parallel to SR. I'm sorry, it is perpendicular to SR. Okay. So this one is our tangential component of. rs at rs now sixth six step is vectors vector r s dash sorry x r dash x r dash and y r dash y r dash intersect intersect each other at r dash r dash and join uh P dash R dash and Q dash R dash, P dash R dash and Q dash R dash. That means both these tangential component of R Q and R S will intersect at uh, R dash. So now you join um, P dash R dash and Q dash R dash. Okay, so <clears throat> so this will now give you the total acceleration component of R S. Okay, and this will give you the total acceleration component A R Q, which comprise of this tangential component and this radial component. So. <clears throat> seven step by measurement by measurement 
we can find that a t r q from the graph is coming around 4.1 meter per second square and a t r s is coming around 5.3 meter per second square now the angular resolution we need to find okay so angular resolution we have alpha qr is equal to remember at qr divided by rq this is the formula remember huh? so it is 4.1 divided by 0.175 so it is 23.43 radian per second square direction is anti clockwise then <clears throat> alpha rs will be equal to tangential component of rs atrs multiply with sr so it is 5.3 divided by 0.1125 so it is coming around 47.1 47.1 radian per second square anti clockwise anti clockwise so in this way you will solve a problem of um, acceleration uh, of forward chain so for this you have to um, have uh, clear about the velocity diagram also because both the diagrams will be drawing here okay am i clear to all of you yes sir okay. so i am giving you <coughs> uh, assignment problems Assignment two ra question number. Ita kita wo assignment. This will be your assignment. Two. <clears throat> okay. So first question is. So you have one mechanism given like this. This is uh, point P one. This is point P two. This angle is given sixty degree. Hmm, this is A. This point is B. Length is three hundred. This one is three sixty. This is three sixty. And omega here it is given in this direction. Ten radian per second. Alpha is given thirty radian per second square, and the distance. This distance is given six hundred mm. So you have to find out. Mm, Velocity of point B with respect to P two, okay, and total acceleration of B with respect to point P two. Second. A forward chain mechanism is given. Suppose this one is fixed. So let's say this is A, B, C, and D, and the angle is sixty degree. 
this length is 50 mm this one is 56 mm this is 56 mm this length is 100 okay mm. omega is anti clockwise 10.5 radian per second and alpha anti clockwise 35 radian per second square find alpha bc that is the angular acceleration of b with respect to c okay. and alpha cd these things you have to find out so these are the two assignment problems okay um, please try to solve okay then uh, i think this much for today okay you just go through this because and try to practice it of yourself now otherwise you will forget okay then i will proceed further for the um, slider crank mechanism okay yes,